Hey guys, I am going to attempt to flatten the bottom of a cast iron pan. So this is what my pan looks like. Kind of pan over a little. I don't know if you can see that, but it has about a five inch circle right here in the center that uh, has quite a uh, deformity. So let's see here. If that isn't bad, I don't know what is. Now this is a pretty nice pan. I don't remember what the brand was. I remember looking it up a long time ago. And it wasn't a cheap pan. It says number 10, 12, and 7 sixteenths, 5 H1. Made in the USA. Let's see if you can see the hump. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. Look at that. Let's see what else I got here. Here we go. This knife should act as a good straight edge. So I don't know if you can see that. But that's a pretty bad hump. So we're gonna attempt to straighten this pan out. So I'm gonna go out in the garage I'm going to grab a sledgehammer and a couple towels and we're going to go at it. Oh, and while I'm at it, if you're interested, my wife makes these little pan handlers. She knits them. So if you're uh, interested in having her make you some pan handlers, let me know. She can do any color, any style, any size. So yeah, all right, let me get it set up. All right, I'm back. So I'm out here in the garage. I got a, uh, a ball ping hammer. It's probably about a three, four pound ball ping hammer, brass. Um, that's what I happen to have. He could probably use steel, but I know that brass is softer than steel. So I take less chance at ruining the pan. And went ahead and grabbed a ruler. Not the best straight edge in the world, but it's gonna work for now. So, then I'd show you again, here's, here's the pan, a big old hump here in the middle. And um, also, I don't know if this is going to work. I, uh, I got on Google, and I Googled, um, oh, what did I type in, uh, straightening a warped cast iron pan, something along those lines. And I read some article where some guy literally just said, put the pan on the ground. Put it on a towel, grab a hammer, and start going at it. So, you know what? Um, I'm going to give it a go because this is so warped that we can barely even use it anymore. Every Everything wants to slope to the middle. You know, if we cook eggs, they go to the middle. All the bacon grease goes to the middle. Everything goes to the middle. And uh, we're just not even barely being able to cook with it anymore. So, we're going to give this a go. I'm literally just going to take a hammer, and I'm going to start beating on the cast iron. Uh, this may work, or we might end up with a uh, a pan that's in two pieces here in a couple minutes. So uh, let's see what happens. Um, I do have another towel. I'm gonna actually throw over the top as I'm beating, and then that way it's not so metal on metal. Um, so let's see how she goes. And I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna first start kind of around the edges and kind of work in. I don't want to just go straight gung-ho in the middle. Um, so let's see. I still feel a big hump. Oh, looks like I cracked it. I did. Let me grab the camera here. So, I knew this was a possibility, but let's see if we can see. 
see it here in the light. See that right there? Big old crack down the pan. So, now you know. Do not believe everything Google says. Um, you know, I, I was prepared to take this loss. Um, I knew it was a possibility. So if you have a pan that you don't want to, to, to risk doing it, this would not be a route I would go because it took about 10 hits and uh, cracked my pan. So, all right guys, do not hammer on your pan.